So here we go. This is the one that Chris posted. I, I have no idea what this is. So self-driving truck completes 950 mile trip, 10 hours faster than a human driver. Okay. There's oversimplification of, uh, of, the, of the, the headline there that Chris posted. So, I mean, this is incredible. Like the amount of, the amount of strain, I guess, on long distance lorry drivers, particularly in the US, because it's so huge. Imagine in Russia, you know, these huge, huge countries where these lorry drivers are driving all through the night and, you know, they've got to rest, they've got to, you know, stay alert, they could cause accidents. I mean, I don't know how many accidents there must be from lorry truck drivers, but to have that automated could completely revolutionize just the world, the planet, because you're able to deliver heavy goods across the country in it in a very, very short amount of time. I mean, here it's saying trip 10 hours faster than the human driver. Basically, that's cutting out a, a night's sleep for, for a driver. So that's incredible. I mean, I think that maybe they, let's have a look to see if they had like a, I mean, I, I would say that they it probably had a um, person behind the wheel because I think that's the law right now. Um, fully automized trucks are, is a long and winded winding one but it's not an impossible one and seems to be closer reach than f- fully self-driving cars proof has come in the form of self-driving long-haul truck that has brought a load of watermelons from arizona to oklahoma very very important package there vip watermelons um so yeah and focusing on driver's tech truck because I actually think that Tesla are working on a truck or something, or maybe it's small scale vehicles like post post trucks or or lorries or vans or whatever. Um, human at the wheel and twenty percent of the cross country they take over the wheel. Yeah, so there was someone in the in the vehicle that kind of makes sense. But this is this is this is incredible, and I think there are some things which are probably unnecessarily automated. I mean. I'm going out on a limb there saying that, but maybe some things are unnecessarily automated. Um, you know, factories and things like that where attention isn't so key, um, whereas the safety of the the worker and the lives of others are so important when it comes to self-driving. Well, uh, when it comes to long long distance travel, that I think that I think we could all really benefit from this sort of thing. And there will always be a driver there, obviously, to unload and various things like that. Um, so it's not necessarily taking away from jobs, but it's just it's just upping that that consistency and that efficiency when it comes to these sorts of vehicles. So really excited to see that. That's pretty cool. Thank you, thank you for that one, Chris. Mm-hmm.